Okay guys, we've got a treat for you today. It is a new palette. What are you doing? New. Are you peeking? No, I'm just making sure that Oh, <gasps> you're peeking. No. See what happened was Hi there, my name is Joe. And I'm Jessica. We are homeschooling natural living entrepreneurs. This is a story of how we balance it all for the freedom to live our lives devoted to our family and faith. Thanks for stopping by. Subscribe and come on in. Everybody, welcome to another unboxing. I'm really excited to unbox this palette with you guys today. So this is an Amazon palette. It's got a little bit of a lot of things. We got this from Market Street down in uh, or up, up in Springfield, Missouri, and uh, we paid $500 for this palette. As for our goal, I'm not really sure because this is a brand new liquidator and we really don't know what to expect. But I have high hopes for this and I'm really, really excited to get unboxing with y'all. You may be asking, well, why did we not include expenses or shipping for this particular palette? It's kind of difficult to do that when we kind of use a little bit of extra to be able to go on a little vacation and stuff. So I did not include that in the price of this palette because I don't think it would be a really fair depiction. Yeah. Um, one thing I am looking at is um, we're not quite sure exactly what it is. There, I don't remember. Yeah, we don't remember exactly what we got. We thought it was shelf pools. Um, so it might be shelf pools mixed in with some furniture uh, in there. Um, I'm looking at some of these boxes. They definitely look like they haven't been opened. Some of them also have like label removal, which could be from, you know, manufacturer to retailer. We just really don't know. This one because I actually had to pull it off when we were driving because it was like a sore thumb. I don't know about a sore thumb. It was sticking up like but that. But it was like that <laughs> on top. And I'm like, that's not going to stack very well uh, on the drive home. But I'm looking at it and it doesn't look as though this box has ever, ever been opened before. I can, looks like it was shipped to, it's from overstock.com, which that's confusing because this is an Amazon palette. But looking at it, it's got the lights here, all the wires securely packed. It looks nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. So that's a cool light. Oh, I love that. So brand new. Open box now. Brand new open box now. All right, so it's a 9990 yes. light. I know that's weird, 9990. Uh, so 9990, <clears throat> so this lights like this, we usually have to sell on eBay. We'll list it locally because sometimes we'll get somebody who's renovating their house on a budget and we'll look there. So we'll list it in both places uh, and hoping to get around 65 to $70 profit regardless of where we sell it. I can grab this guy here and this guy here. You grab him too. Cheater. Cheater. All right, so this, oh, it's a, it's a slip cover. Oh, those sell good on Facebook they, here. What is going on with this here? Okay, that's all on the outside. You see all that? It looks like paint or something. Something. But it's all on the outside. It's really stretchy. It looks really nice. Uh, and it doesn't really look like it's been opened. It's got, looks good. Yeah. There's no way that they could have folded that, put it back in the box like that. That's true. So I found this on Amazon. Um, the problem is I don't know what size and the size can determine the price, but the cheapest one is a large. It's $25.49, which means we will sell this in our flea market booth or maybe even on our Facebook group. Uh, for local people and um, we can get 15 for that. Now the reason why I grabbed this one is because Joe likes to play with the power tools so I thought maybe I would save us all the possible issues of calling so an ambulance. You're trying to steal my fun. Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, let me get this. Let me get this. I 
open it like this. Yeah, it's you. Is that used? Yep, that has been used. Heavily used. So there's two listed on Amazon. One comes with a leaf blower and one comes with a trimmer, like a string trimmer. So the cheapest one is the one that has the leaf blower on it. Uh, this one obviously doesn't have that, so we'll just take off some money for it. I think, you know, it being used and everything, we might be able to get $20 for it. I know I'm breaking the rules and I'm kind of digging down a little bit, but I saw this item when <gasps> we... Oh, is that a fountain? It is. Why did I miss that? I don't know. That's but why you grabbed it first. This is the item that I saw when we were looking at the pallets, and this is a return. It's been heavily used. Yikes. So, yes. so at least we know now we bought an Amazon return pallet. <laughs> yes. Uh, but uh, it just adds to the intrigue even more. <laughs> so um, we there's a lot of testing that would have to go into this. Uh, depend on how the rest of the pallet goes. Uh, usually a pull pump that looks, or not a pull pump, but a pond little fountain thing that looks like this. This is probably not going to be working. Uh, and uh, I just don't know if it's going to be sellable because of that. Which adds to the further disappointment of this item being ridiculously heavy used. This is a $205 pond fountain pump um that's very disappointing i was gonna help you is that a baseball bat this is a case pack of something it's that uh iris brand they usually yeah. have the uh but it also says fragile on it so and oh. it was upside down uh -oh. <laughs> so we'll see we'll see what it is what could it be? Bins! I oh. hope they're not broken. <gasps> Bins! <laughs> All right, let's see. Actually, we I just like got these. some that were pretty similar to that. Yeah, the other ones that we got were a little bigger. Yeah. That we just got. But, but they sold nice. well on Facebook. They sold really well, and these are like a nice plastic. Yeah. Like they are, I just, I need to, I hope that they're all good because that would be amazing. All right, there's one with a complete lid. All right, so no broken bins. Good. No, no, it's broken. Oh, we got one broken lid. It's usually like the par for the course though with these storage bins. Yeah, I mean, this one's good. Yeah. I mean, the fact that there's only one broken lid, that's nothing. Yep, yeah. no. You know, oh, no, two broken lids. Three broken lids, four broken lids. All the lids are broken. No, this lid is not broken. So we got two broken that aren't broken. All right, so we got, all right. Well, that's pretty average then. I was about to be like, oh, this is so extraordinary, but it's actually so average. So four broken? Yeah, that's I'm not, a bummer. I'm not disappointed in it though, um, because that's just, that's normal. Yeah. Um, it would have been really awesome if none of them were broken though. All right, 19 quarts, six packs, 46.21. All right. So, um. So about $8 a piece? Yeah, I'm trying to think. We probably would want to sell the two, the two, um, complete ones. So we could probably get $14 for that. Yeah. I'll just make it 15 for the sake of math. All right. We've got a fan, not so entertaining. I'm not a fan of this. You're not a fan of fans? No, the box is pretty heavily worn. It's like it's been taped up and cut open before. Well. It's like it's all wrapped in plastic still. It actually looks in pretty decent shape so far. It's a little dusty. It's got scratches and stuff on it, so it's had to it has had to have been used before. Um, maybe maybe it just got scratched up from being in the box because all this is still in really good shape. 
Yeah, but I don't know. Just initial indications, this looks like it has been previously used just because it's got scratches on here. Even though this was wrapped in the plastic, it's got scratches, signs of use. But I don't know why they would put this whole thing together, take it apart. But then this doesn't look to be used. So I have no idea. We'll have to, uh, to test it out. I don't think it's been used, but it's got signs of... Uh, Opening and tampering. Yeah, because like this here, like why would somebody take the time to put this back on there? You know what I mean? And then this looks to be pretty well wrapped up. Somebody could have done that, but chances are that that looks like it came from the manufacturer. It spins. Yeah. So, so it's a works working fan. And, it, and it oscillates. So this is an $80 fan brand Holy new. Holy cow. Yeah. Uh, I was not expecting it to be $79.99. I was thinking maybe we'll get 10 bucks for it. Uh, but I don't know. Like, I don't normally buy fans, so like, I don't know how much they usually go for. But if this is what they're selling for on Amazon, you know. It makes sense. I was just looking at the, the you know, all the stuff that's on the box, like how quiet yeah. it is, and then it's got a remote control. Of course, it's going to be a little bit more. Yeah. So maybe, you know, we'll get $30 for it. Um, I think that would be best case scenario. All right, let me just grab these guys here. Ooh. That's a mysterious. It's two Amazon packages taped together and wood pieces. Yeah. So that's, all right, let's figure it out. Well, whatever it is, it's definitely been opened. Okay, it's a shoe rack. Shoe rack. Have some <laughs> Okay. And if it's not broken, like, that's gonna be a miracle. I know. But it's looking like it is right here. It's broken in a lot of places. It's been like snapped a few times. Yeah. Um, that's broken there. There's broken right here where my finger is. Yeah. Um, this right here is snapped off. Uh, this right here won't even attach anymore because it's snapped off. So this would be zero. So when I when I chunked this thing down, I could tell it was some kind of furniture. Um, it's definitely been put together. You can tell from the scuffing, there mm -hmm. must be a washer or something that went on there. So there's that. I still don't know what it is. And I'm trying not to drop everything on the floor. My concern with furniture that's already been put together is are all the pieces still there? Do we have all the yeah. screws, nuts, and bolts that we need? to even be able to resell something. And then if it's not worth very much, how do we... Uh, I was not we, expecting that. Do we take the time to put it all together? What is this? Polaroo. It's a pet bed, I think is what it said. Yes, it's a small, medium pet bed. This is interesting. It is. So it's kind <laughs> of like a puppy hammock of yep. some sort. Um, All right, this is a ten dollar dog bed. Woo so is it even worth putting our? It is not. It's together. Not, it's not worth the time for us to put all of this together. So what I'm going to do is mark it as zero. And we'll try and figure out something with it later. Maybe somebody will want it, you know, and they'll be willing to put the piece, put it all together, and all that. So, yeah. You know, this is one of those things where it doesn't How do they look even... like. I don't know. It doesn't look like anything is broken. Um, I just, you know, don't know if uh, all the all the nuts and bolts are there. Yeah. I'm gonna grab these. So I got a couple items here. All right. First one is this. Ooh, a Swiffer sweeper. What is this? Wait, is it broken? Yeah. I don't know if it's broken definitely bent but I know it's not supposed to be bent so that's supposed to be straight so judging by this but that would be something for us to use because I don't think I'd want to sell something that default defective and it won't cost that much anyway yeah 
but I might be able to bend those straight. We might be able to use it ourselves. It's a bummer. All right. This looks like a toilet seat. Toilet seat, we usually put these at the flea market booth and sell them for like five bucks. So five dollars there. Yep, yeah, usually takes a minute, but it'll sell. Oh, what's that? Yard Max, tame the great outdoors. <laughs> Paving padded. What? I was wondering, it has like a little odor to it, like pavement kind yeah, of does. Yeah, it smells like street. Yeah. It smells like, yeah. Anybody know what, how to use this? It smells very much like pavement. <laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, it's got screws here, bolts here. That doesn't like to, it's been installed. It's got two and two. So it's got a UPC. Let me scan it and see if I can't find out exactly uh, what this is used for. Well, it doesn't uh, really explain. It's gotta be some type for like a yard equipment, some, uh, not necessarily a tractor, but a yard max. Do I even wanna look it up? Yard max YC. Okay. So this is what it goes on. So it's like a, it's a replacement part for something that goes on there. Uh, it doesn't look to have been used before. So this is an item that we can sell on eBay. This isn't $3.97, I wish it was, but it was uh, $39.99. So we'll sell this on eBay, hope to make $20 profit off of it. We got a 3M, looks like air filters. Oh, yay, <laughs> not a fan. It looks like it was once a three pack, but now it's a two pack. <laughs> They don't look to have been used, which is good. So this will be an item that will go at the flea market booth and uh, hope to get $5 from this box. If, you know, it's all about sizes which, and, yeah. and all that. So it's like, they're difficult to sell, but, and they're not very expensive. Yeah, and they're big and bulky. So that's why I say $5, because I don't want this to sit in our flea market for very long because it takes up a lot of space. You want a shiatsu massager? I was eyeballing that for the things I was speaking at when you caught me earlier. Ooh, yes. Okay. A um, little bit of damage here. It's kind of almost a telltale sign that it's been taken out of the box. So I'm trying to uh, trying to figure out how to make that. There we go. All right. Looks like it's in good condition. It goes around your neck. Mm -hmm. um, it's even got a, you can do it in the car. It's even got a cigarette lighter <laughs> attachment. Yes. How do you... Uh... <laughs> I think that's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, you, uh, this would feel so good, dude. I can feel it. It's like right yeah. where my shoulders are tight. Yeah. All right. Uh, this Shiatsu Massager is $39.99 on Amazon, brand new. So this is obviously uh, used. So we can sell this for $15. Uh, George Foreman. Ooh, I was hoping you'd grab that. My mom had one of these. It was so awesome. I think I, I remember the original George Foreman. I think that's what my mom has, like the first ever. And uh, I used the heck out of it in college. I hope it has not been used. I love George Foreman grills. I haven't seen any of the newer ones yet, or used them even. Ooh, it looks new. It does. The drain tray. It's scratched up, so it may have been used. Maybe it's been cleaned up, used and cleaned. I hope not. It looks I good, know. though. So it's definitely got some scratches on it, so it has been used. I mean... And uh, it's got, like, some little grease residue, just a little bit here. But it has been used. 
it can still be sold, used. It probably has a pretty decent resale value as long yeah. as it works. So I'm not super disappointed, but it would have been really cool if it was new. I know. UPCs, and it still scanned it. So it's a $60 George Foreman brand new. Now obviously this is one has been used. So if we can get 25 bucks for it locally on Facebook, I'd be happy with that. All right, here is a uh, deluxe bugs that it feels really light. Is it even in here? <laughs> uh, but it's, it, I mean, it's open, obviously. Uh, this is something that is, I was wow. really, I was, re listen, I was really freaking out because it was so light and then yeah. I saw this and I was like, no, <laughs> it's empty. But it's not, it's in here. Uh, definitely used, there's bug, there's bug stuff in it. Nice. Um, there is lots of bug stuff. So, um, doesn't mean that it doesn't work, but it also means that we can't get as much for it as we would have liked. Yeah. Um, and this is something where if it's not worth a whole, whole bunch, it may not be worth it for us personally in our business model to be able to, oh my gosh, that's nasty. That is, y'all see all that? Yep. So I don't know. You know, I know it's just bug guts, uh, but reselling this, no way. Um, if it works, we may use it around the house. Um, seems to be a really popular thing. It's highly rated. Yeah. Um, there's only one left in stock on Amazon. Used like new is $45. Um, new is 60. There's even one on here that's 71. Um, but I don't know that we can resell this just because the amount of time, because of how much it costs, the amount of time it would cost for us to do that, we could spend our time uh, making more money somewhere else. So yep. I'm going to call this zero uh, because we're limited on time and we just don't have the, you know, we just don't have the resources we need to be able to sell this. Um, so we'll call it zero. Maybe we'll, you know, when we have little parties and stuff, we can put it out in our yard. I'll grab a couple. Yeah, do that. This one, it doesn't look very promising. It's blinds. Blinds never really, especially on like if something's return, a lot of returns. Yeah. Chances are this has been used. And it's got masking tape on it. So. Actually, we did have a viewer say that even they do, they've worked in Amazon before and they have used masking tape before. Yeah. So that's not always a deal breaker. It's got little bitty hairs on here. So this is only a $20.88 brand new blind. So I mean, used anyways, 10 bucks. We gotta get it clean to even make it sellable. It's just not worth our time. So we're gonna call this one a zero. Big box, very, very light. What is it? We got half of a camp cooker. <laughs> <laughs> As you see here, the picture, it should be two sides, but we only got the one side. Aww. Yeah, that would have been neat though. That would have been kind of cool. So another zero dollars. This is a very open rice cooker. Is that a rice cooker? cooker? It is, and a steamer on top, which is kind of cool. Nice. So it's just the uh, a basic aroma rice cooker. Doesn't look like to be one of those really, really high quality ones. Yeah. Um, you know, well, it might be for some people. For me, uh, coming from an Asian family, uh, we, we like that was a big expense, a decent rice cooker. So yeah. I'm looking at this one and I'm just like, oh yeah, but some people may really like this kind of thing, but it's still in its plastic. Um, so that's a good sign. Yep. Um, I don't see a lot of scuffy. It's a little dusty, but the box was open. So there's that. Um, and this is this is the, mo the, the money here. Yeah. And I see no scratches. None. whatsoever there's a little bit of dust on there so this this may be able to be sold like new yeah all right so that's a $20 um, rice cooker so I'm thinking uh, since it's like new we can put this in the flea market booth sell it for $15 so grab this here oh it's already open it's open and it's scratched up oh.
I don't even know if this is what's that's in not, the box. That's not right, because this box says that it's some kind of wheelie yeah. chair thing. This is an auto part, isn't it? Or no, no this it's is not. What is water this? sprinklers. What? Yeah. You put this out in the yard oh, like this. Yeah. And you got the stakes. It's got duct tape there, I guess, to not scratch it up. But put it in the ground. Those are hardcore. Yeah, water these sprinklers. are heavy duty yeah. metal ones. And it's got the return. So this I think this should answer the question about what type of pallet this is because that is a return authorization slip. Yep. And uh Well, these these if these work, these could resell. Yeah. For sure. Just the wrong season for it now. That's true. All right, so I've looked it up. This is a $39.99 sprinkler for just one sprinkler. And okay. we've got two of them. So they do have some scratches on it, which I think it would still be okay because they're going into the ground. So the rest of it looks, they don't look to be used. I don't see any water stuff on it. So I'm thinking we could sell them in a pack of two for like $50 on eBay. Okay, I'm looking at these two big boxes here. This one says training pants. Doesn't mean that's really what's in there, but I'll pull that. And then this says iris on it, so I bet you these are more of those bins. Yep. So let's look at these. First things first, these uh, bins here. Yep, that's what they are. Looks uh, like it's one bin. That looks like, you know what this looks like? It looks like somebody purchased them, cut the yeah, box open, they did, it's... and yep and they cut it so if that's the case maybe these were returned because of that one reason and the rest are actually good <laughs> oh lord um, this is just a set of, okay so these are different bins <laughs> yep okay this is a three-piece combo all right um it's a like a oh that's cool yeah that's nice and then this is oh, okay so it's, it's cat and dog food specifically for dog food it's got wheels on it this hasn't even been opened yeah so exactly what i thought happened they scraped the top of it, didn't like it, returned it. So these yeah. are actually perfect. Yeah. Uh, other than that, that small I guess the way it goes cosmetic defect. Like that. Yeah. See, this right here actually has a thing and yeah. it fits perfectly. Awesome. Right on there. That's really cool. So let's see. That's kind of nice. I mean, because that kind of thing can be resold pretty good. Um, it's a twenty-four dollar. Uh, Twenty-four forty-nine yeah. dollar thing. So we can put this in the flea market booth, sell it for twenty bucks the whole set, and I think that'd be good. Yeah. Okay, so these are honest training. It's what it says on the box. Opening it up, that's exactly what it is. Um, so yeah. Okay. So these are okay. These are honest diapers. They're size two, three, uh, three T. And normally I sell most diapers like Pampers, uh, odd sizes, like really, really big sizes, like size six and seven. I'll sell those at the flea market booth for $5 a piece, but these are really in high demand. Uh, people love this brand. Um, so I looked it up on Amazon um, when I scanned the box and these are selling for $43.96. These are brand new. I think we can sell this whole case on Facebook Marketplace for $35. I'm gonna grab three little doozies here. Alrighty. I don't even know what that is. Retro spec. Retro. Salona mat, five inch. Hmm. Got a keyboard and a it's bat. It's a yoga mat or something. Yeah. It's like that that's what it, what it is. Yeah. And it's like, whoa, wait for yeah. that. It's like it's from right here. Y'all, if, if you order, order, if you order yoga mats, please be careful opening the box. We get so many of those. We do. Actually, but you know, on the other hand, if I get it, I usually keep it sometimes if it doesn't sell for a while. We just don't need any more. We really mats. don't. So this one here, just basic yoga mat. It's still usable. So it's an item that we could put in the flea market booth and get eight bucks for it. Yeah. So we got this pink bat, which it's a fast pitch softball bat for girls. And uh, it's got so many stickers on it. So we're gonna have to apply some heat to get it off. Um, I want to look it up just because I know it's softball season right now or the beginning of girls fast pitch softball season and I just know some bats are super expensive although it is for young girls so I'm not sure if they still have the same price disparity. Yeah, and we're really only familiar with the price of bats for the slower pitch like because Jolyn does softball. Uh, so we don't really know the price differential just yet, but we will because she seems to really love it. 
So this is a $30 bat or $29.99 online, uh, brand new. This one's still brand new. It's still got the tape and everything on there, uh, the little sticker. So I'm thinking we can sell this on Facebook for 20 bucks and it'll probably sell pretty quickly because it is the season for this. So next thing we've got is this little Dask DAS keyboard, an off-brand keyboard. I say off-brand, uh, you know what I mean. It's not one of the name it's brands. It's super long because it's still got the number pad on it, yep. which is hard to find sometimes. Obviously, since it's electronic, we'll have to hook it up to laptop, make sure it still works, make sure all the numbers work, so that's extra added time. And they've got this all taped up. Oh, it's pretty. It doesn't even really look like it's been opened. Oh yeah, so pretty. I love the smell of new computer equipment. Is that weird? Yes. <laughs> Thanks for your honesty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it doesn't look to be, I don't know, it's like one of those things, like it's, I see wiping streaks, so it may have been used for a little while and then wiped down because it's got lots of small cosmetic scratches on there which keyboards still sell even in used condition. But let's look up the price to see if this is an item and how much we can sell it for or where we can sell it at. I was not expecting, evidently DAS keyboard is an expensive keyboard. Uh, <laughs> how much Be is it? 119. What? Yeah. Hey, that's cool. I know. So we'll do some price comps on eBay, but if it's selling for 120 new, we know that we can probably get at least $60 for it used on eBay. Uh, but like I said, we do have to test it. So that will be part of our process later on. Uh, but right now we're going to call it $60 profit. We are about at the halfway point on this palette and judging by all the prices, we're currently at $390, give or take. Um, and that's a pretty conservative number. Um, ideally I'd like to be at the break even point by now. Um, but we're not, we're about $110 shy of that point. Um, we still got half of the palette to go, so maybe we'll have some high dollar items. But I mean, part of me is feeling a little bit nervous. Uh, not quite sure what to expect. Um, but like I said, this is a new liquidator. Um, and so, I mean, this is more of an experiment than anything. So let's see what happens. So first off, toilet seat, we know, flea market booth, $5 for it. And uh, starting to pile up. Oops. Put their own stuff, please. I know, right? And uh, we've got this. Philips Event, Avent. It's a sterilizer. Um, okay. I, yeah. And you put little gadgets inside, sterilize them. Good for like uh, baby bottles, baby bottles, yep. binkies, nipples, things like that. So if this is in, even in used condition, this will still sell. And uh, looking at, at it, we've got still in plastic there. Might be one of those baby shower items that they yep. have two of or stuff like that. Baby stuff sells so well in our area, so it that's does. kind of exciting. And this is looking good because it still has, you know, everything still plastic. It's all in this protective covering. Yep. Even looking down here at the sterilizer, the the base piece, it's still wrapped up, still has the piece on there. And so it's still even zip tied together. Yep. So brand new item, which is awesome. Uh, we needed a good item for this. So get this put back in here see how much it's worth, see how much money we can make. This is odd. This is where it's like, how much do we sell it for? Because on Amazon, there's one that's selling for $68.22, and then the next couple are selling for $109.95. Whoa, that's and I don't a huge know price why disparity. the huge disparity there. Let's check on eBay just to uh, see maybe if there's a more solid price there. All right, so new, looks like it's selling for, I mean, it's still it's the same price to spare there's some selling for like sixty dollars or some selling for like eighty or ninety bucks. I'm wondering if there's like a brand or not, not brand but like a, a model or something that's so yeah. weird. But I think best bet we'll sell this in locally. We'll price it for like seventy dollars uh and see how it goes. Oh <laughs> towels uh it just fell out of this like this box it's not even really a box. It's more like no. a cardboard envelope. Yeah. Uh, but this is towels. It hasn't been used. It's in really good condition. So this was a really good flea market booth item. Yeah. Um, really like it. It's actually really cute. Um, I wonder if there's a way that I can price it and just give more realistic price. But if not, we'll just mark it 15. 
Okay, so I have no no way of comping this other than just to look it up. Here, does it have anything on it? No. no. Um, I found uh, an Amazon Basics, very similar one. Uh, it's selling for eighteen ninety nine. Um, it's it's a different brand. Oh, it's, it's broken. Where? Right here. It's missing a little. Uh, oh, that's. Yeah. Okay. Well. I didn't see that until now. I was just really excited about how pretty it was. But it is broken right here. Um, so that really, really dumbs down the price. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if I'll get $10 for this. I might just price it for five. Yeah. <laughs> giants. Hmm. Two of them. Two giants. Yeah. Super um, soft Sherpa throw. And then here, I'll just grab this right here because it's pretty easy. Yeah. It's a, it's puppy pads, um, which they've sold at yeah. the flea market booth. We listed them for $5, isn't that right? $5? I think that we started off like 15, then I went down to 12. I think they finally sold like at 10 bucks. 10 bucks, okay. So we'll just go ahead and list these at 10 bucks. And then let's find out how much these blankets are worth. I've got one blanket selling for $13.59 and another blanket selling for $29.99. <laughs> so what are we selling for? I mean, this one's the prime version, so that one's probably the most popular of the versions. So, so best bet, five bucks at the flea market. Well, five dollars it. All right, I'm gonna grab, I think this is a car seat, and it is heavy. I'm talking about heavy. I've never seen a car seat this heavy before. Worries me that it's been shipped like that. I know. Uh, just because I don't know like how rough it's been, like if it's been tampered with in any way. And uh, I don't know anything about this. Uh, if there's any recalls. Uh, normally with other car seats, we check for recalls and stuff. This one's gonna be a lot harder. It's a rear facing car seat. It looks nice. I mean, it's, it's a super nice chair. Like it's heavy and looks like got, a roller coaster ride. I don't know. I <laughs> mean, uh, makes me so nervous to sell because I don't, I can't guarantee how safe it is. So it's got model number, clerk, manufactured, all that. I'm going to scan it. It's got a UPC back here. <clears throat> this is a $389 and 99 cent car seat it's like it's like i love that that's so exciting yeah. but i'm like how do i guarantee this is safe to sell so i'm gonna have to like research i might talk to some people i don't know and see the others the other ones always came in a box which was yeah. always made me feel safer i mean granted it, it's never been used so it's like it's a dilemma for those of you who do not know, when you do get a car seat and a liquidation pallet and you're really not sure uh, about it, a couple of things that you can do. For one, if you ever need to put a car seat in and you're not sure if you're buckling your child in safely or if the car seat is installed correctly, your local fire department uh, usually advertises that you can go in and they will for free check and make sure that your car seat is installed correctly. Um, so they are a, a plethora of useful information if you are reselling car seats, um, as well as there are certifications that you can get. There's a local doula um, in the town next to us and she is specializes in in, in the same thing that fire departments are specialized in, to know that your child is buckled in safely, to know that your car seat is installed safely, and all the safety precautions that come with that. So if you are trying to resell car seats and you need to do your research, look for your local doulas and look at your local uh, fire department and see if they can help you out. So we're confident that we can sell this, but we're gonna do some more research. We're gonna ask some child uh, car seat safety experts that we know about this and as long as we do that and then we display in the listing that this came from an Amazon customer return palette disclosing information because there are some parents out there that want to know these types of things they want to make sure that their child is safe we'll put that in there as long as we do all that I'm pretty sure that we can profit $300 off this I gotta say that car seat was a huge help yeah I mean like now we are in profit we are so I don't feel bad about getting rid of some of those items that were junk items now. I know, I know. That's We really needed that. Yes. That was really nice. 
Um, yeah, I'm feeling so much better. Like, I'm like, <laughs> I know. oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> we actually made double our money now. Yes. Okay, so I don't know what this is. This is a, uh, I'm not sure, but we're going to find out. <laughs> we're going to find out what it is. You never know until you unbox it. <laughs> I see. Um, Roll later walker. Okay, so I, I know what this is. Um, this is something that's going to be kind of hard to sell, I think, but let's look. It's for medical purposes, for older people, right? Yes. Or not no, necessarily. No, no, not older people. This is for like if you've broken your leg. Uh, okay. And you need someone, you know, you need help rolling it. Yes. Um, but let me look at first impressions here. Um, one thing that does concern me is there is some scuffing, significant scuffing, um, as if it has been used, which is fine as long as it all works yeah. properly. It's expensive. It is. It's $160. Nice. And looking a little bit at it, it actually could be used. I thought it was for, you know, when you hurt your leg. Yeah. But this is actually a walker, like a straight walker for people who have a hard time walking. I got you. Um, I think the, the, the big thing about this is that it's it's collapsible, which makes okay. it really cool. It does. So we're going to knock off a little bit for the condition, knock off a little bit uh, for shipping and fees. We could probably profit $75 for this. Nice. Yep. How cute. It's going to be even nicer if it's not been used. Happy Grand Piano. Oh, styrofoam. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to do it like this. Ooh, ooh, that looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see any scuffing or anything. I see some dust from the... Uh... Let's see if we can get some of the legs. It's got styrofoam. It doesn't even look to be installed. I'm looking at all these little holes. Yeah. The installation holes and there's nothing. Nothing. So this is like brand new. It's a playful piano and not supposed to sound like the real thing. <laughs> wow. How much? I can't see. 103 dollars Nice. Yeah. That's cool. I was not expecting $103. So, man. So, $100. Bucks, so, I think it would sell $80. And if we can get $75 for it, I think that would be good. Somebody save some money. We still make a good profit. So, 80 bucks. Two smaller boxes right here. Ooh, look at that, a crib. I know, I see that. I hope it's not damaged. I know, those Dream On Me cribs sell so well in our area, for they sure. They do. Thank you for stopping that. Yes, yeah. trying to break right. our stuff. This looks like a, a, a cheaper model, not like the other one. Yeah. Uh, so, wow, look at that, that's unique. That is very unique. Look at that, that's like round buttons or something. Is that like a residue down there? What is that? It's dust. It's not residue. It, I'm, it, it wipes off with my finger. It's just All right. dust. The box was slightly open. Y'all, this thing lights up. <laughs> Dude, it's $50. So, I don't even know. Do I want to sell this? I want to sell this local. Probably on Facebook Marketplace. I think it'll sell there. Yeah. And if I do, I can get, I don't know, like 20 bucks for this. 25, you yeah. think? Maybe we'll price it for 30 and if we get at least 20. Okay, yeah, we'll price it for $30, hope for 20. Yeah. Very ominous box, looks super damaged. <laughs> it does. Um, don't know what's in it, but we about to find out. It's already open. What is this? It's a, <gasps> it's one of those ball thrower it things. And it has balls in there too. With, complete with a tennis ball. <laughs> it plugs in. It's very, it's very used though. Definitely it is. been used. Let's plug it in. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm scared we're gonna break something. We'll babe. shoot it against that door. <laughs> this is unscripted, y'all. I'm scared. It looks like it's on. Nothing. Come on, it's humming. Is it? Maybe we should 
back it up a little bit. Why are we doing it again? It worked. Because I jumped. I don't know if they got it. Ready? Yeah. You, your head may have been in the way. I think we should give this to Desi. Well, well let's see how much it uh. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I must pee my pants. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, set, fetch. That's what it's called. Premium Franklin Pet Supply Company. <laughs> that was funny and fun. Well, this is an eighty-two dollar and forty-two cent. Yeah. Launcher. <laughs> uh, it's used, yeah. definitely. But we could sell this locally. Somebody's gonna buy it. These are really cool. Yeah. I mean, because it's in used condition, I'll knock off quite a bit. Maybe we can get price it for fifty. Hope to get forty. Yes. Yeah. And uh, call it a day. I, this is kind of cool. It is. So we got this. It's a heavy box. It I looks a, like a computer I made a chair. It here. Is that a computer chair? Oh, it's yeah. a nasty looking computer chair. Very scuffy. Yeah, that could be just from the uh, from being loose in the box. I mean, there's no telling how many places this has been, uh, but I'm not seeing any hardware. Yep. That it looks to be just the chair. Yeah, I don't see any any nails or yeah. not nails screws. screws. Yeah. Aw. So, that's a bummer, but I will probably keep this base and the wheels because we have a gaming chair in storage or over there somewhere. I think it's in storage that we needed a base for. Hopefully so, it fits. I know. That's a big box to be a zero. That's a bummer. This box is pretty. Yes. Looks nice. Uh, it says lounger chairs on it. Uh, Two-piece set. So, I don't know if that's that the lounger chair comes in two pieces or there are two loungers yeah. in there. I feel like it's kind of small to have two loungers, but you know, I could be wrong also because I don't have a lot of spatial skills. Um, oh, nice. Sweet. That looks pretty. I don't even want to take it out of the box. I know. I probably won't. Uh, we may take it out of the box to list it, but this is, okay, this plastic. Nope, it hasn't been opened. It's got the manufacturer's tape on there. I'm yep. just pulling it out at this point. So let me price this and see uh, how much this is. This is cool. It says two-piece lounger set. I think there's two in here. Yep. Yeah, one, one two. two. Sweet. Wow. Two of those are 100 bucks. The two-pack is 100 bucks. Wow. And it's like brand new. It's not really the right season though. No. I mean, we're getting out of that season. But so we could probably discount it for it being out of season to move it quick. Yep. Sell it locally, price it for 80, maybe get 70 for it. Yeah. So the last box is a dream on me. It's the Synergy 5-in-1 convertible crib. I know as long as this is not damaged, then this is money. Like this would be at least a hundred bucks. But as you can see, we've got some crinkling of the box here. So hopefully this is not damaged. Now, I don't know if you know this, Joe, but if this is worth at least $35, we've doubled our money. Nice, so we need this to not be broken. Right. Boom shakalaka, boom boom, boom boom. I like it so far. I'm not seeing any. It's a pretty cherry a color. Couple, couple of scratches here. I don't. But oh yeah, yeah. Just some little from yeah. just from the box though, being opened. Looking over here, got a few scratches like on this piece here, on the back side. Let me have to come over here. It's got a small scratch there, but not enough to really decrease the value much on this. I think. I think we. Uh, we're gonna do well with this. All right, so this right here is $109.77. Awesome. So I know we can at least get 80 bucks for it. We'll price it for 90, even though it has a couple of scratches here and there. And uh, it'll get at least $80 for it. So we doubled. Woohoo! 
And there you have it guys, that is our first unboxing from Market Street Liquidations in Springfield, Missouri and I have to say I started off really, really worried. <laughs> yeah, um, if it wasn't for that car seat, we would not be doing as well as we are. So thankful about the car seat. And that's just kind of the way it goes a lot of times with pallet flipping and buying liquidation is a lot of times it's that one item mm -hmm. that is the difference between a bad pallet and a good pallet and a good pallet and a great pallet. I do also want to say that not every single time that you get a bad pallet that is a reflection on the liquidator. It's right. not. Sometimes you just get bad pallets and yep. that's just par for the course. Luckily this all worked out for us in the end um, and we were able to double our money. We made a total of $1,045 conservatively on this pallet which mm -hmm. caused us to double. Remember we were all in for $500. Yeah. So we are very very excited. Got some really good products a few duds uh, but I can't say that I'm disappointed right I think it was good yeah so we hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing if you have any questions comments or anything that you want to add go ahead and comment those down below uh, and until next time peace, peace.